welcome to Better, a Tsang & Associates original podcast. I'm your host, Jane Park, and together we explore practical strategies for living a more mindful and fulfilling life. Today, we're talking about unlearning the lies of wealth. Everyone wants to know the secret to get rich, right? Like, how do how can I be rich? How can I be rich? Understandable, because we need money to live, and it's just part of the world we're in right now. So people often just try to find what works, you know, whether that's, like, reading personal finance books or going to seminars and, like, paid conferences, or maybe they just find someone on social media who they resonate with and kind of get involved in a movement or, a, like, a financial fad, because that does happen. The problem is, is that there's a lot of lies with wealth. One of these fallacies when pursuing wealth is that we often end up not needing or wanting or using as much money as we thought, right? Like I might imagine like, oh, if I had a mansion, I'd be so happy. But then now I have to like buy stuff for this mansion. Now I have to pay for the AC bill on the mansion. Now I have to pay for landscaping. And so it's not a blessing anymore. It's a curse. And wealth is often portrayed as the key to infinite pleasure, but we know it doesn't bring happiness. After you hit a certain point of having your basic needs met, like anything beyond that is not going to make you significantly happier, you know? It's sad because in the pursuit of wealth, people often give up their whole lives, you know, thinking like, well, once I get to that point, then I'll be happy. But it's it's just not true. And I need to remind myself of that too. Like I had three meals today. I'm safe, you know, I have a job, like whatever it is, I'm healthy, that's huge. Like if I'm not happy when everything pretty much is going right in my life, I'm young, like what makes me think I'm going to be happy in another set of quote unquote like perfect circumstances? I'm not. So I think the most important thing in the pursuit of wealth is to realize it's not a guarantee of happiness. It obviously can provide a certain lifestyle, but I'm ultimately the one in control of my happiness and you are. And if we're not choosing to be happy on a daily basis, we're not going to know how to choose to be happy when our our net worth has quadrupled. Like we're just not going to know how. So I think for all of us, we have to make a really conscious decision to be happy every day. (laughs) Maybe not every day, maybe like five out of seven days. (laughs) Did you enjoy today's topic? We aren't the ultimate experts, but we do love sharing our personal journeys, what we've been learning along the way, and in bite-sized portions too that fit easily in our busy days. If you'd like to study today's topic in more detail, we do have a YouTube series as well as in-depth Medium articles from Tang & Associates. Your feedback helps us reach more listeners like you. See you later!